How to carry out maintenance and calibration of generator engine fuel valve Yanmar 6EY18W Safety precautions Stop the engine Switch to engine side Stop the lubricating oil priming pump Close the starting air valve Open indicator valve Close the fuel valves and remove flywheel cover to begin with remove the fuel pump cover and cylinder head cover removing of the fuel injection valve remove the clamping bolts of the injection pipe joints and on the fuel injection pump side with a hexagon wrench remove the injection pipe joint remove the injection valve tightening knot Loosen the injection pipe cap nut and remove it together with the injection pipe. Note: Handle the injection pipe with care. Damage to the round ends of the injection pipe will cause leakage. Screw the drawing out bolt into the injection nozzle retainer. Install the drawing out tool body. Tighten the nut to lift the fuel injection valve, then remove the fuel injection valve and remove the case nut packing and it comes out together with the fuel injection valve dismantling of fuel injection valve before we start dismantling these are the following parts of the fuel injection valve to begin with the dismantling of the fuel injection valve loosen the lock nut then followed by the pressure adjusting nut loosen the case nut if the nozzle has a carbon, it comes out together with the case nut and be careful of the positioning pin that may fall down. Remove the positioning pin and the valve spacer and take care for another positioning pin not to fall down. Remove the spring set, spring, spring retainer, spring guide all together and lastly remove the spacer after dismantling of the fuel valve clean all parts check the nozzle for sulfuric acid corrosion if the nozzle valve moves easily valve stop spacer wheel is more than 15 mm replace it with a new one check also the case nut and the o-ring of the injection valve as per manual the average service life of the nozzle is about 2500 hours depending on the maker's recommendation and manual and it is recommended to have one set of spare nozzle on board assembling a fuel injection valve in assembling the fuel injection valve first clean the nozzle with diesel fuel replace the o-ring with a new one put the nozzle valve into the nozzle and check for damage when it moves easily and have unwanted materials Put the spacer and the spring guide into the fuel injection valve, the spring retainer, the spring, and the spring set. Install the pins and the valve stop spacer on the body of the injection valve. Make sure that when you install the spring set and the nozzle is in correct direction and be careful for the pins not to fall down. Put the pins into the valve spacer and make sure the nozzle should be aligned to the pin. Then install the nozzle to the pin. Be careful with the needle valve of the nozzle may fall down. Put the case nut in the nozzle. Be careful that the nozzle and the case nut does not turn together and the pin comes off. Tighten the case nut with a special socket to the specified torque. It's 167 to 176 newton meter. Do not tighten too much. The nozzle may malfunction or straight pin will break. Always refer to maker's manual for major bolts and nuts tightening. How to calibrate or adjust the fuel injection valve to specified injection pressure. Install the injector to the nozzle tester in this position. Tighten the nuts of the connecting tubes. Check and fill in the oil container with oil or diesel fuel. Set the nozzle tester to the specified injection pressure. In doing this, slowly operate the hand lever of the nozzle tester and turn the pressure adjusting knot. For adjustment values, 
clearance, and wear limits of major parts, please refer to the manual for assembly value. For our generator engine Yanmar 6EY18W, the specified injection pressure for fuel injection valve is 40 plus minus 0.5 MPa. Quickly operate the hand lever of the tester at the rate of 2 or 3 strokes per second and check the spray. If you operate the lever slowly, fuel can leak and this is normal and the nozzle is not defective. If the nozzle is clogged or injection is tricks, replace the nozzle. If the desired pressure is set, tighten the pressure adjusting nut and lock nut. After tightening the pressure adjusting nut and lock nut, check again the pressure by quickly operating the hand lever. Sometimes upon tightening, the pressure settings changes. For installing the fuel injection valve, reverse the procedure of removing the fuel injection valve. After installing, look for oil leakages from the overflow pipe during engine operation. The possible leaks are from fuel injection pipe or fuel injection pipe joints and also from the nozzle clearance.